There is power in your voice. Even when you choose silence, there is strength in your standing. Even when you break publicly, there is life in your breath. You are fire, blazing embers, wild fields, burning winter's pain, preparing for springtime. You are everything. I'm a queen, and welcome to an evening with Mpepo and friends. To the organizing team, I'm grateful for the space. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm honored to be part of this healing space. Um, I'm given such a big task. Um, I would like us to, to join in prayer. To someone so that So Kokom Kulu of a Zalibetu. Sis Posa Kuwe, meaning of the game of Sanji. Sipelis Bani Sipelis Bani Sakos in a Kimio Sipelis was Bani came meaning to us on game. Zosnik as a Lukuman Yangi or what him belay Samba now cause a kind cellular team. I'm trying to send a wingy upper corner. We we voice out is Carlos it. We voice out among the bed. See our quasel and among the pills. Sibula Lakba Osipe is being as this generation that is unsilenced. Enga fool me, each generation was a tool. Kamanyabawe beyond the technologies and the internet and the platforms is a smoke and a of Mauna Matlaunk. I must be way to impiliso, no affinial and a lapo, no confinial and a con. Please stretch us, Manosum Leo. Sandy sail a minute or so. Sandy sail a manga, Ukuba squads, Ukuba Empili swing was Patisayum, Mauna Madonke. Galama Gamis were pretty sanguin. Mabawi in Fula is an challenge element green. I pray now, Sanji meaning to Zonke. Bow Moya Wako Ozula Unke Unke Nele Nakunya Nunye Hagatuale Webina Cosena Matra. Smule la matuma, smule lo kulu lo mungu, esi kufuma nayo, kuwe mdani. Maosi peke, uba ama zuwechu, suwa sebe zise ngenge la wele sinagayo. We won't be silenced, nini dozo mke, by our, by our past, we won't be silenced by ama nyeba, oba zali wetu. Sizo piliza. Sikali mpili sa vila wepezu usurini. Nini ndo zonke. Elunge nelele. Tumele zonke ngelo sizako. Sahambi nazo. Sizbiza zonke. Usikile malu anke. Nasi zikabe. Nasi manzi ini. Ebu nzuri ngulu anke. Emkolo mbeni. 
nazo zonke indawo ezihlele usizilenga zethu sezibiza zonke ngombo zonke zomhlaba sithi ngakube njalo ngakube xhosi ngakube hele kube xhangako kama kuse kama kosha koko um it's so important that we are intentional it's so important that we are intentional about what we do um about the spaces that we create and about um the life we breathe into um the the areas that we inhabit we're inundated by so much grief and so much heartache and so much sorrow particularly in the past 2 years and so um we invite you today this evening this morning depending on where you're coming from to um just listen and really allow yourself to be a part of this meditation this is our offering um right now we just um sivule lo ngomthanda ngomthanda because as a bantu bamnyama we don't just do things as if siamba sodwa we understand that we we um we move with many um ubuhle bendalo mda um is an incredible artist um she's embraced with open arms her unsolicited gifts from her gods her music and artistic excellence transcend the music itself and extends to the world's unknown um and a lifelong dream of hers has been to release her solo album which is the blessings of those who walk beside her and it's entitled Kosi it's a beautiful offering and i really do encourage you to to get it and to um share it um we also tonight are going to have Lakaya Hicks a public health cultural shapeshifter and freedom art alchemist inviting us to remember who we are deepening on our community needs at hand this may be mean masquerading as a spoken word poet participatory action researcher singer director dancer curriculum developer kuringa joka or educational curator drawing forth leadership wrapped in your our radical authenticity authenticity um everybody's bio is on the poetry website poetry africa website so i'm only going to read parts of it as i introduce them to call them into the space um and honor their presence dr denaimo boza is a feminist teacher researcher and published poet she works at fritz university as a senior lecturer in african literature having completed her phd with a fellowship from history um the history workshop in 2020 she's a 2020 atlantic fellow and the author of feeling and ugly um also an incredible firewoman spirit and we're so thankful to have her in this space sarah godsell is a poet a healer a teacher and a publisher she began performing in the johannesburg poetry scene in 2009 and has since performed both nationally and internationally she's performed in poetas da alma festival in maputo um, and was on the lineup for poetry africa in 2020 she has two publications seaweed sky and liquid bones Um Ukoko Ukani Shusha is from is born and bred in the small town of Umkomazi and has proven to be a lantern of hope for young girls from a small town to dream bigger for, than their backgrounds. She's a dynamic um arts holder of a bachelor of so- social sciences degree in psychology and industrial psychology, studied drama and performance at the University of KwaZulu-Natal for two and a half years. She's not just a poet um but an artist and a sangoma having done acting script writing poetry drama facilitation fashion design styling and designing she owns a creative company Kanye Shusha Creations and a spiritual consultation business Busisiwa Mahlango is a poet performer and a dreamer from Mamelodi Pretoria she's the author of Surviving Lost the poetry collection um which was later adapted for a theater at the South African State Theater um as part of the incubator program surviving loss was named best seller by african book collectives and bridge books in 2019 um she's also a slam champion this is our offering ikamalamgo vangile kanjo bokuzalwa ngoavukile ngogula and i am so thankful to be holding space i'm not going to um come in between each of the artists 
who are going to be sharing. But um, first up, we have Lakaya Hicks. Come on. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. I invite you to sing it with me, placing your palms over your heart. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. Reminding us that we are the ones we've been waiting for. No more waiting. We are the saviors that we've been waiting for. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. We are our greatest medicine. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. I invite you to put palm to palm. Rub those palms together, creating that heat, that energy, that healing warmth that's always accessible for us. I invite you to take that healing warmth and place it on the parts of your body that need a little love this morning or this evening, depending on where you're, you're joining us from. And just inhale that healing energy in. And if you need some more of that heat, Put the palms together again. <sighs> and breathe that healing warmth in to those, body, those parts of our bodies that need that reminder that we are our greatest medicine and we are everything that we need. The black lesbian warrior poet, Audre Lorde, is with me. It's reminding me of her words. What are the words you do not yet have? What do you need to say? What are the tyrannies you swallow day by day and attempt to make your own until you will sicken and die of them still in silence? Poetry Africa 2021, the theme is to unmute. What do you need to say? And where are you holding all those things that you need to say in your body? And I invite you to unmute those parts, that healing warm, singing to yourself, your spirit, remembering that we are the ones, we are the ones, we are the ones. I offer a poem called Sorgo Freedom. In some ways, it's my breakup letter with bondage. And it has a chorus that I invite you all to join me in. So each time I gesture towards you, I invite you to say this one line twice, wherever you are in the world. Get your power back, get your power back. So every time I gesture, get your power back, get your power back. And I want you to fight for my freedom like it's yours because it is. See, I'm not free until y'all are free. So give me something to, to push back on, to push forward with. Gavel strikes again. Simultaneous push pull every action coexisting with an equal counter action. Gaining the courage to do me, you entice with the comfort of conformity, but that's not for me. Bobbing in and out of authenticity like an iceberg and crippling cold tides, 99.9% .9 of my mass suppressed below the surface. 
beneath my masking facades, my tap dances and self silence, suffocating under what I'm allowed to divulge. The truth of me, the life of me, the real me bobs up. And the undertow of your expectation sucks me back down. Juxtaposing the uncertainty of ambition to the belittlement of your implicit suggestions, I recoil. And my dreams, I mean, right, sorry, minimize the mere hallucination. So into your notions, I conflate losing myself in the process of your way. Mind's always on trial. is your plan for me to lack purpose, appetite, zeal, creativity. Striving to be more than what is, is ridiculous. No, 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 I, I get it. Like um, Dr. Evil, you want a, a mini me, a mini you, a, a Robin to your Batman, a flunky to your Letterman, a dependent psychic, anything to keep love and freedom from being the main event. So mimicking you with a pinky to the downturned corner of my mouth eye to your low standard stoop and refrain from questioning the status quo or evidence of what we think we know, a seed of the infertility we sow. Oxymoronic, I know. Yet, on this tide, I flow, comatose, and up sprouts a zero. Don't complain, groan and moan when the cypress is lifeless on your couch, taking up space, sucking up air, and putting nothing out. You wanted a drone, remember? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness can't be a gift of the present, but a taunt of the past. A necessity for our trendsetters, our inventors, our forefathers, our yesterdays. Seems we aren't in the ideas from outside the box. To shoulder the weight of future brilliance. Hmm. Of course, I consider defiance. So I bob in and out of consciousness, in and out of acceptance. But I choose consistent, persistent wholeness as my resistance, resilience and self-ownership. My existence is no burden. Lived experiences embodied knowledge. I am all asset, no liability, efficacy in my leadership when I am fully me. I have birthright to be fully free, despite the years of American dreams written for me, despite the evidence of our history, her story, their story is still happening in what I hear and what I feel and what I see. I was born free. I am free. I am free. I am still free. Get your power back. Get your power back. Come on. Hilda, one, my grandmother is a woman I have never met. She haunts her body seated next to me at night, hand presses against my face in my sleep. She brings the gifts of the water, begs me to jump into that pool. She rests in its depths, dreams the day I will join her. Two, you gave me the tools to piece myself back together. Three, I still feel your breath when I dream of walking past all of your flowers. Trigger warning. Breathing together like this fills me with power. Breathing together like this fills me with pride. Breathing together like this hurts. We breathe out of the wound feels like breaking into speech, into pieces. Breathing together like this fills me to pieces. They gather like smoke, burst in small soft swirls and light filled breath. They collect us and all of our optimism. So we dance for them. We dance like it might break the swelling in our feet. Like if we dance, we might ache less in our everywhere. Like if we dance, we might find pockets to place all of the kindness that the world makes no space for. We look to the sky, bring salt to our tables. We press our hands to the ground. We call on our senses. We pray for rain.
to come. The subject of I. For the shrieking spirits who sing through my spirit and breathe through my stomach. I clutch desperately at bodies and smiling and kind eyes for some sense, coherence, connection that means I have a place. I have no place. Words and tears pour hot. Wet skin burns and feels like screaming. Face remains still. Mind retains control. For a moment, the cleverness suspends me in place where my voice speaks, does not break. And in the tone of silent scream speaks oneness of nonsense, coherent incoherence. I long for pleasure that comes with tongue and skin and eyes that touch and love on bottom and love on top, softness and hardness and eyes. With self and one and one and one, to feel your demand to possess every part of me as you try to clumsily collect me in those moments when I sit still and I just want to eat your face, your whole face and arms consume you entirely for a moment suspended in the lies of affirmation. To only wake and remember my wounds, my incompleteness, my incoherence. I want the spirits that curse through my hot skin to refuse me, misrecognize me, hold me close and remind me of the control of love and the power of my wounds and that fire can never be still. I never want to accept or be still, though I forgive my moments of stillness. I want to live one and one and one simultaneously, endlessly multiple, against all odds that I could ever escape, one and three. Teeth. My daughter lost her teeth. Ripped from her gums as she fell, four of them, broke from her mouth with spiderweb scream, thunder grabs me through the ground. Teeth jutting into lip, lips swollen, blood escaping into Joburg winter, one, one tooth grown through fever dreams, remains still on the earth. My moth heart wings turn stone, sink to my feet, running, running, doctor, hospital, emergency room. She seems calm, her baby shark on repeat, mouth full of blood. Her mama arrives, tears held back with steel. Her body sends tendrils of comfort towards the tiny light in my hands. Brave and ours to protect, to protect. Moth heart stays in my feet. We do not deserve flight. In the months that follow, gravity does not find me. It, as each almost fall, I rush arms out before I remember this light is learning and flows and falls. But I am scared of the thunder in the ground. I would like a spell to protect each one of her teeth. Small. Familiar nausea climbs my throat as I see your name on the poster. I am reminded of the way it felt to glow in your love, then boil, then burn, then disintegrate into dust, easily swept away, only able to congregate around something small. And I didn't burn again. And I made my scars beautiful and I made new ones myself. I grew tall and brave and I told people about you. But you were always on fire and never destroyed. And round your camp, you spread stories of my burning. That I lit the match myself or you lit it out of sympathy or you lit it out of the need. You pretended I was the one who burned you. In fact, you left flaming leaves and seasons. You burn gentle lavender woman and fierce pine cone woman and wise birch woman, but around your camp, you are the magician and the fire at once. My name is treated with false care in your mouth. Your followers aren't even that generous. So even though I am grown 
and brave and lavender and pine cone and birch, you keep me alight and you keep me in your mouth. In your orbit, I will always be nothing and something and your thing. At the mention of your name, I will always be small. Best mud. Two small children, naked, immersed in a forest of green. Forest is the correct word. The rosebuds stand taller than both of them. And the fern is almost as tall as the younger one. Light penetrates the garden, dances off the mud between their legs in which they have buried their feet. Light makes the rose bush a blur, does not blur the thorns, but in this moment of scientific discovery, no thorn threatens the two. Big sister squats, satisfied fascination on her face, legs open, uninhibited by naked. I imagine an archeologist squatting like this on site. Her left hand hangs limp, fingers mud coated, the proof of her labors. Right hand is held up in triumph. It is this hand she is gazing at with such fascinated satisfaction. This particular handful of mud, the handful she has uncovered, discovered, grasped, the best mud in the garden. The mud that would bake perfectly into pies she would serve her parents, unwilling guests, later. Small sister stands upright, thwarted in her quest. Mud up her chubby forearms, but hands empty. Her big sister has proved her prowess, again. Small sisters angled away from big sister, staring at the handful of mud with awe and skepticism. She trusts big sister to know which mud is the best, but does not quite believe her own trust. Because why can she never find the best mud? She thinks to herself later in the bath, as big sister makes a story that she is compliant in again, because big sister found the best mud again, that the secret must be in the books big sister reads. She resolves to learn the cobweb of letters, not to trust the words of big sister to so easily be a hook in her mouth. The white bit chair behind them is empty. Father, once occupied chair, hosed ro ro rose garden, provided mud, took photo. In their early thirties, small sister and big sister do not speak, do not trust. Big sister still finds the best mud. Small sister becomes preoccupied with her angle away. Neither focuses on the emptiness of the chair, the focus of the photo, the emptiness boring holes for years that big sister always tried to fill. For them both, for small sister most, tried to fill by trying always to find the best mud. Thank you. There are traces of God on my palms. I cannot deny my lines. There are traces of God on my tongue. I cannot deny my lines. There are traces of God on my path. I cannot deny these lines. There are traces of God on my path. There are traces of God on my tongue. There are traces of God on my lines. I cannot deny these lines. There are traces of God on my tongue. I cannot deny these lines even though my education disputes everything that they stand for. Still, I stand forth, palms clenched, presenting gifts from the other side. My mother's womb was always lined with ancestral wisdom. I come from a lineage of Izango, my healers and oracles. There are traces of God on my path. There are traces of God in my tongue. There are traces of God on my lines. I cannot 
deny these lines. There are traces of God on my path. There are traces of God in my tongue. There are traces of God on my lines. There are traces of God. I cannot deny these lines. Scapegoat, umshabelo. I have been working on that trap from the day I was born. That traps everywhere, yet still my breath is still intact because of you who walk with me, even on days when I refuse to harm your tunes, choose to refuse your truth as my own, when life forces a lump up my throat and tears become my refuge, still you stand for me and by me. No one can stop that. On days when my conditioning has numbed my tongue to your truth, when my body rejects your teaching, dancing of balance, chakras tainted, still you stand for me and by me. No one can stop that. I have survived death traps so many times and who to direct my anger to than you yet still you stood and still stand for me i remember my chantings at two ikobongo at three appeasing ceremonies at four blindness at five asthmatic attacks at six tantrum fits that led to teachers leading feet upside down a balcony at seven and eight a regular at the principal's office for fighting and warnings i remember the lions that showed up at school and crazy fits, the poisoning, almost kidnappings, almost rape attacks six times. Ningabala usemnyango inyani fuze ngabandi komna kotwandi lapa because of you who stand for me and by me silently. Your wrath tarnishing all those who stand to destroy me and tarnish you. Ka ikama kulivuma, no one can stop that. Ka ikama kulivuma, we are dead. Bumnyama kuya vela ukanya. Um, Oh, sonke sizalwa sifumbete. Izbusi so nezikalegi so zembande sapuma guyo. Loko asina kupigisa. Gepa isandla sifumbete amandla. Oguli kukula iksasa lingafani niktangi. Gonke glochiwe makameni nezibongo zetu. Zazi mbangela yukzalwa kwako. Ngabe uzoshobi sangani glesitlata sagini. I've met so many kings and queens presenting themselves as circumstantial scapegoats, not knowing the name's value in this life. So many miserable diagnosed with illnesses foreign to our core. Umunda kakuli. Umsamu nobundu umakupila. It's a mess to claim things that do not know us by name as ours to claim things that those who brought us here are foreign to is blasphemous singabantu tina singabantu bezulu nomhlaba imikhathi ikhusela kithi mifisi uncela ukuphila yize sesaphila ukufa siphila umphefumulu uphikisa impilo sikwe siyiphilayo i've never i've never seen such a free generation and sad ancestors wildest dreams when their screams haunt us in our sleeps insomniacs healers popping up pills how can we be so woke and powerless at the same time have everything but own none of it so conscious with no wisdom do you know the names of the giants that live in your dna do you know how to summon them when death knocks at your door do you know that every cell in your stream has a name a face that kneels with hope that you emancipate them children of the light Chalanga, so pendulanga li, pi isis we silambile, salaulwa zinka nugo, sasulwa imizwa, lezim pize moya, so zingobaganjani, children of the light, the darkness in your eyes terrifies me. Children of the light, the world needs you more than before now. Singa la shegelwa o kona ngongeko. Remember your names, zinjonjo. Makosi, Bandabam Shope, Amago, remember your names. Sing a Bandabam Shope, sing a Makosi, Amago. 
Thank you. I open my eyes and see half of everything I look at. The glass on the table is filled to the middle while the other half is broken. The table is smaller than before and our house is left with one room. My father walks into the room with some of his mistakes. He shrunk his way to forgiveness with his left side stuck in the past. Today, he's the right man my mother loved. We spend our days happy, half ourselves, selflessly on the talk. We stop digging each other's graves. We don't have enough to start preparing for death. I can teach you how to feel pain less. Flail your eyelids, use half your pupil, close your other eye. This is the best way to run away from home without leaving. I think you must be a body of fire to survive being bent. Avoid being wood or plastic or flesh or water. You must have feet that run on wind. You must disguise into a flame. Disguise into a flame and the fire will miss you. The month a man shrank himself to embers, our shack bent to ash. Obaba saw how fire can end shame. He poured paraffin over the wood, tossed a lit match. I cannot claim to have moaned. A house doesn't dance the same way a body does inside death. When we rebuilt, we became cautious of sparks, placed the paraffin stove outside and left it there. Umama did not trust Ubaba to stay away from negotiating our exit. To be a body of fire, you should not let heat collapse. She built our house with bricks and cement. Ubaba's anger could not gaslight any room. And you are big now. Big can say goodbye with a full mouth. Big can carry a suitcase up the stairway. Big doesn't run away, it walks. And you're not leaving anyone behind. You are leaving an old memory of a wound's past marked on your pillow, next to the map of tears, the crumbling moments soaked in vinegar water. You will learn new ways of healing. You will learn to pray to God in English and he will listen. My mother's mother has done this suffering for my mother. My mother has done this suffering for me. This is how I inherit a scar. I wear mother's bones. I fit mama's clothes when she goes to work. I fit into the dances she had in them, into the panic of walking the streets at night, into the making of a home that would not hold. A favorite skirt is striped black and white with the lines pointing to her feet like a whisper saying she must run. Her favorite blouse is blue. She was beautiful in it before it became a mouth swallowing her ugly along with her light. This one outfit is used from scraping the floors and raising white children, saved for Sunday's gospel and prayers begging God for an answer. To look like mama is to look like sacrifice, only a corner in a room to keep all her things, while Baba fills the whole house with himself. The mirror says, I am drowning in a skirt. I twirl in amazement. Mama's life is so beautiful, I can die in it. If death could tell me what made her laugh, made her happy with less, made her stay when she could run, what made her wear a blouse so she could watch herself drown. I want to tweak the sides with a needle and thread, but she will know that I wear her life when she goes. And I wear her life when she goes. And I say, look at yourself. You have not died yet. You're an unending revolution. You are surviving loss. You are surviving. You are collecting yourself. You are collecting yourself from all things that are fading. Age behind dust. 
You are looking for yourself in all the roads you built with your feet. Some paths were already there. Some you shaped with your thorns, with your hands, and the thorns remained as a reminder. Some of your footprints are filled with mud. You cannot see them without breaking your back. You are tired. Tired feels like slowly wilting. Tired means rest your bones for now. In your rest, you begin to count all the things you lost to the mud. The spoon you used to eat gravy, the straps of your bra, your ninth finger, someone, everyone, yourself. You count loss until you're the ash. You cry, ash becomes wet, ash never becomes paste. You fold into a ball and learn to survive alone. Someone stabbed you, drove you to this place. Your footprints are not on the ground anymore. Your body is under your bed. You are learning sleep again. On the 30th day, you're still teaching your eyes how to close. Stay there, heal. Go outside, heal. Don't move, heal. Do what healing calls you to do. Sometimes it won't call you to do anything. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had to remind myself, but I still need to, to be able to speak after all of this. Um, thank you so much. Thank you to Lakaya Hicks. Um, thank you to uh, Danai Mubota. Thank you to Sarah Gatsal, Ukoko Kanishusha, um, to Wusisiwa Mashango. I'm going to thank Ukoko Bushe a little bit later because um, she's going to close us um, in, in song um, and bring us back, like, as in, because, oh, oh, you know, we pray in different ways. Um, but I think it's, it's just, I really hope that um, this has been such a beautiful week of Poetry Africa. We've had such vast conversations and such beautiful spaces um, where poetry has, I, I, I guess for me at least, felt like it, it reminded me why it's such a great love, um, because it continues to revive me, it continues to, to bring me back to life. And I hope that you were able to do the same. The, um, a lot of the videos are still up. I mean, yesterday there was the screening of the, the film, We Are Dying Here. And having seen the film from like when it was a stage play and then when it was a recorded play to now as a full-fledged film that has won two awards in this past week. Um, there is just so much work that poetry is doing. And I think if anything, I'm just, I'm so thankful for the people who are writing and more than that, the people who are allowing their voices to be what feeds them, what sustains them. Um, the theme of unmuting feels so powerful right now in this particular time frame. Um, and as a black woman, I feel it strongly. So um, before I call Ugoku Ubushe, I'm going to, um, if you will allow me, I'm gonna share two poems, one by Joy Harjo, um, because it just feels really, really um, important right now. And it's called Anniversary. When the world was created, wasn't it like this? A little flame illuminating a rough sea, a question of attraction, something fermented, something sweet. And then a bird or two were added, the cow, of course, to joke about humanity. And then another kind of beautiful. We had to hear them first. But our eyes could have, but our, before our eyes could be imagined. And it was, we were then, and there was no separation. The cries of the planet formed our becoming. We peered through the smoke of our shoulders. Lips emerged from new terrain. The question mark of creation attracts more questions until the mind is a spiral of gods strung out over our heads, traveling towards the, the invention of sky. Move over and let us sleep until the dust settles, until we can figure things out. 
What was created next is open to speculation or awe. They, the shy fish who would have known only water walked out of the ocean onto dry land. And just like that, another life. The frog imagined meals of flying things and creatures in flight imagined hills, a dubai dirt and grass in which to settle and make others to follow in their knowledge, which they were building as sure as houses on the tangled web. And in that manner we became elegance of fire, the weaving grass, and it has been years. You, Sana Eba Kulele Yitwala, in the middle of a reading. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. Um, it didn't fall off entirely. So I'm going to say we do have a few comments. Um, I'm just going to go through them. So, um, Kialo Stelo. Sarah is conflicting to like a poem that is weaved with pain. Um, we have a comment from Ooh, Primordial Shaman Cre Creature Earth. Hey, Sana. <laughs> Poets have very deep names. <laughs> Primordial Uti. Um, Earth is violent by design, though. The good suffer more in it. It's true. Um, but we give thanks for life. So the poem I'm going to read, um, and then I'm going to thank our sponsors um, who have put Poetry Africa together. Um, and then I'm going to ask Ukoku Bushet to close for us. Small girl with moths in her mouth. Speaks anger and glances, knows the dagger of words. Small girl, big voice. Moves in silence, knows how earthquakes begin in the rumbling of her stomach entire families collapse small girl cares too much for such a small girl small girl with treacherous eyes carries too much feeling in her lungs knows the sting of lonely small girl sees too much breathes too much takes up too much air small girl is too much mirror and expectation too much wanting more Small girl should know better than to try to fight the sun. Small girl with hands of spades. Small girl dreams too much, hopes too much, wants to plant and grow. Small girl thinks she is the ocean. Small girl is a stream. Small girl will break her heart with all this want. Small girl is not even the wind. Small girl must learn to swallow and be pretty. So Poetry Africa is brought to us um, by the University of Wazulu Natal and is housed in the Center of Creative Arts. Um, we'd like to thank Total Energies, the French embassies and the French Institute of South Africa. We'd like to thank the National um, Institute for Humanities and Social Studies. We'd like to thank um, social sciences, we'd like to thank um, the Playhouse, we'd like to thank um, Arts Town, Rebig Valley, the Poetry Archive, Hear My Voice, Department of Arts and Culture, Quay Words, um, and we are delighted as the Impeple Press to have been part of this collaboration and we're so thankful to have been here. Um, thank you for participating, thank you for um, listening and being here and being present. Um, we wish you courage and light. Um, Tina so Ega Pina Sing a big way So Tona Pina Sing a Tony Guentali Tina so Ega Pina Sing a big way So Tona 